decide whether you want to go to a big game party or throw one yourself. Here with a list of do's and don'ts for guests and hosts is Norman King, assistant editor of Southern Living Magazine. Good morning, Norman. Good morning. How are you? I love I love what you're wearing. Oh, very, thank very you. Cute. You're, you're love in the mood. Thing? You love everything. I love it. Okay. Well, one of the things that that you need to do when you're throwing any great Super Bowl party. There are a couple of do's and don'ts that you want right. to go ahead and have established. The first thing that you want to do is go ahead and check out your TV situation. Make sure that it's on the right channel, that you have the proper audio cables hooked up, and that you're going to have a, basically a tech-free problem. Uh, you better Super get that game. straightened out. Right. The next thing that you want to do is program your DVR. Mm -hmm. And that means uh, that that's just great setting that up. And that way you can watch any of those you know, great highlights or you can catch the uh, commercials that you love. As oh, well. that's good. All okay. right. So afterwards, you say that you should also clear out some furniture from your living room Correct. and move things that could break. That right. makes sense. That's one thing. One thing that you don't want to do is have an accident at your party. Because so everybody's going to go. <gasps> exactly. And boom. You don't want to have our gumbo flying all over the, uh, the, the, uh, the couch and carpet. Okay. The one thing to do is move your valuables out of the way and that way you, you uh, prevent injuries and any other kind of uh, spills and clu you know clutter All and right. things like that. Then, food. One I like what things. you've done here. I can tell there's right. a theme. You got a little New Orleans thing and a little bit of Indianapolis That's going right. as well. We wanted to bring it together and uh, promote unity because the competition is on the screen, not in your <laughs> living room. So what we did is we added a, a little bit of Southern style because the, because the New Orleans Saints are playing. Mm -hmm. So we made a little bit of a Southern style gumbo for you guys. I and love the great it. thing and about that's great this, party food. The great thing about it is it's cost effective. It feeds a great. Uh, it feeds a lot, lot of people, and also that um, it's really simple to make. Now for our Indiana Colts fans, um, we uh, had a reader actually submit this recipe for us, and it's kind of lo a little jazzed up. It's a take on their pork tenderloin sandwich, mm -hmm. and it's coated with pecans and sage, mm -hmm. and it also has a little bit of a blackberry sauce. And we made them in the sliders because it's great, oh, that's perfect. really um, hands-on finger food that you okay. can have. And then, of course, it's a Super Bowl, so you have Correct. to serve beer, but right. this is probably the most important tip you're going to give us. Correct. We know that when you're serving beer, some of your guests may overindulge, and you want to go ahead and plan ahead. Now, one great thing to do is have a bowl full of keys that you can take and give them out based on your discretion to see who's able to drive and who's not. If not, always have a cab or keep that spare bedroom ready. Mm -hmm. That's what it's there for. You know what my brother-in-law does? He has a Super Bowl party every year. Uh -huh. After, you know, they take the keys, but then at the end of the night, they serve a snack at the end of the night, too. In okay. case people have been drinking, they get more great, food. Great, great. That's, mm, that's just that a great idea. tip. All right, next you say, do call the host before you come and say, do you need correct, anything? Correct, correct. I mean, it's just common courtesy. Uh, one thing to do is see if you can bring some beer, wine, some extra napkins. Don't bring too much, but just kind of offer your help. Right. Now, one thing that you don't want to do. Okay. And that is, then this goes mainly for men. Okay. Do not touch the remote. There is nothing worse than of you're being course. fourth quarter. Who's going to touch the goal remote? Goal line. I've been two minutes to go. We hit the remote, and now we're watching CSI Miami. That's just hey, something but, that we don't want to do. But that's why you teamed it. Yeah, so that's you're true. Okay. That's true. But we don't. We, you don't want to cause a big uproar and things like that. All right, Norman. And, thank you very much. Who are you rooting for? Uh, Saints, of course. All right.